Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to calculate the period of motion in physics. Now, to be honest with you, calculating the period of motion really depends on what kind of object we're talking about and also what kind of path it is. Now, there's a couple of things that you might want to consider. Um, one kind of motion is uniform circular motion, where the object moves you know, according to circles. And, you know, we have to take into account formulas associated with uh, circular motion and then apply the uniform uh, circular motion formulas from there. Another kind of motion that you want to consider is simple harmonic motion. And certain objects follow that kind of mo movement. But the bottom line here simply is there's a lot more kinds of motion that's out there and therefore you're going to have different kinds of models for you to find the different periods associated with that kind of motion. So to be able to calculate periods of motion in physics, it really depends on what kind of objects that you have and what kind of scenarios of movement that you have. So it's not as cut and dry as one would like to think. So those are just a couple of quick um, illustrations, if you will, as to the kinds of motion that are out there, but there's also a lot more formulas associated with that. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief uh, tips, if you will, on how to calculate periods of motion in physics.